Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Global Cooling Rundown for the week of July 6th to July 10th, 2017. Record cold summer continuing at the North Pole. This comes from the Danish Meteorological Institute. That blue line, that's freezing. The temperatures are one degree above freezing. Also, Squaw Valley extends ski season for the first time ever past July 4th. Party time on the slopes. Oh, Tahoe Ski Resort also first time ever open past July 4th. You can see how much snow is still up there after the record snowfall. Global temperatures down in June from 0.44 degrees in May down to 0.21 degrees in June. Wait a second, we're going into summer. It should be increasing unless, well, the solar forcing from the grand solar minimum starting to kick in. Like these 19 scientists agree that it is. And in their report, they talk about galactic cosmic rays increasing total solar irradiance decreasing scary global warming story the melting ice is going to unleash microbes across this planet and wipe out humanity although the namoli figures in sierra leone from 17,000 years ago beg to differ as you can see it got exceedingly warm far warmer than today around 12,500 years ago and we are still here and I find it funny that Greenland just set an all-time record for the coldest temperature in the northern hemisphere in July 33 degrees Celsius below zero location at the summit I doubt ice is going to be melting and the current surface mass blowing away all records from the 1981 to 2010 mean and also many Ice Age conversations talking about grand solar minimum intensification on our Earth's climate system, as well as another talk with inventor Lee Wheelbarger about agriculture during the grand solar minimum. But Let's talk about crop losses that have made it into the media for a millisecond and then disappeared. Not only the entire Georgia peach crop minimum 75% loss, but all through the Southeast United States. Chickpea crop just north of Montana into Saskatchewan looking parched to say the least. Spring wheat drought, that's an understatement. And a little bit of hail in Spain and we'll mix that with a few more losses you didn't hear about. Australia setting a new temperature cold extreme, minus 10.4 C. Goulburn Airport showing up in the raw data, Canberra area, yet on the daily temperature rundown, it's actually not a record any longer. 10.0. Wait, so they reduced a cold temperature record into not a record and raised the temperature. And then when they got caught, they just left the space blank. Actually, what's happening is they're setting the limits incredibly high on the low end so it doesn't register new cold records. It only goes high on the high end. They finally had to readjust the temperature after they were caught and there was so much controversy out through the social media stream in Australia. With the solar forcing model showing that we're going to be cooling through all wavelength light spectrums as well as TSI, 10.7 meter flux. The grand solar minimum forecast shows cooling starting right now. Global temperatures have dropped since 2016. All these signs are around us that we're entering a new era in our climate system that's going to affect crop prices and they're still meddling with data. They really need to be held accountable and it's us as the citizenry. They need to start answering and getting into a more public arena where their lies are shown to the general public so everybody starts to wake up. 